Hi, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. Uh, the tail and the paws that you see in the video, that will be Kit Kat. Um, in front of you are three Hobonichis. This is my five year diary, my A5 cousin, and this is the A6 Tetra, which I'm using as my personal diary. Down below, you will see chapters for each planner so that in case you don't want to watch the entire video and you just want to watch um, a specific planner, you can just jump right to it. And Kit Kat really loves the beads on my cousin. So let's start with my A6 diary. I keep this uh, beside the bed. Um, I won't show you that, uh, but I do fill in again like a diary so what happened in the day I do like to keep track of the weather so I do input that but what I do want to show you is the monthly layout so this is it this is for February I wasn't able to find any of my red washi you know like Valentine's um, but instead I found this cute teddy bear and so I try to put a highlight of the day for each day this is for January a little bit of sticker, some washi tape. Okay, Kit Kat, come on. Hang on one second. Boop. Um, so I've been able to keep up with this. And I'm pretty happy with that. So this is my A6 cover. This is, uh, or my A6 techo. This is my cousin. You can see how thin it is, and I'm really happy with that, that it hasn't chunked up yet. So this is what it looks like every day filled in with um, some drawings. There's been a few photos and then I've taped in some photo, um, my cutouts from a magazine. So here's an example of one. <laughs> my sister gave me um, some of her old magazines and so I've been able to uh, cut it out and then put some in. Let's go to the monthly. So this is for December. Hopefully the cat's not too distracting. Here's January. In February, I haven't done anything yet. Uh, I haven't put down any washi. And then the little dates that you see right there. I started a 100 day writing challenge last month. Today is Friday, so we're, we are on day 21. But I need to come back in and put down some stickers for um, things that are happening this month, as well as the washi. Now to the weekly layout. So that is, this is what this week looks like. And it's pretty simple. I really like the washi on the bottom. I think I picked that up at Daiso. These are Happy Planner stickers. Um, are these called page flags? And then a little bit of highlighter. Uh, but I think it came out not too bad. It's really simple. And I've been able to keep up with it so far, right? So we're a month in. Excuse me, cat. This is last week. Uh, because I make the time in the morning to fill it out and or in the afternoon. Um, I have to have everything. I have to make time to do it. And if you've watched the planners that I'm using for 2023 or seen the videos that I've been uploading, you know, on Fridays, um, you can see the amount, there's booze. <laughs> you can see the amount of planners that I use. And so for myself, speaking for myself, I um, black out like an hour or two to be able to go through and fill out my, my journals and my planners. That's what I do before bed, but everybody else, um, I either do first thing in the morning or uh, in the afternoon as I'm preparing dinner, um, I will pull out all my journals, my sticker books and stuff, and then start uh, filling out the day or like past days if I need to catch up. Okay, come on, Kit Kat, let's go. And then let me show you. So today's Friday. <clears throat> uh, so I need to put down the uh, temperature for yesterday. But this is a photo that I took on Wednesday, but I wanted to put it in my book. Um, of some house plants that I have and it's kind of hard to see but that's an elbow a monstera elbow this is a Florida ghost 
and this is a Rafa. <laughs> it's a shingling plant. Um, so I just reshingled him. I had him on a. So when I initially bought him, uh, it was on a small little board, and I wanted it to grow on a moss pole. And I had it like that for like a week or two, and I just wasn't happy with the way it was looking. So I put it back on a taller board from my husband's uh, wood stash in the back. Um, I put it on a taller board and it's looking really good. So that's what this is. This is Wednesday's photo. Um, so we have, so, so this is Bruce, in case you didn't know, he is our English Bulldog Rescue. And um, he has his own doggy bed. And these are all his toys. And so we've had him now It'll be, let's see, we got him in 2018. So it's about, it'll be five years in October. Um, but he sleeps in our bed. He doesn't use his his own doggy bed. So we put his uh, stuffed animals in his bed. And on Wednesday, he decided to throw them all out so that he could sleep in it, which I thought was really cute. So that's why you see three different photos of them. This is my currently page for February. So this is the blank page that comes before the start of the month. And so for me, I decided for currently, I decided to write down what I'm reading. I haven't found a book I wanted to read yet. And then what I'm doing. And let's see, so I have three for what I'm doing this month. And then my goals for this month. Uh, I decided to write with two. The little stickers are uh, sticker flakes that I purchased over the years, either from Etsy or from the Sanrio shop here in Southern California. I, this is from the Happy Planner. And then I don't remember, this is a little washi tape I may have purchased from Amazon. These are from a magazine cutout. And then this one I just try to rip, rip out, um, you know, rip the edges. I like the little bacteria design on the um, paper. And then the cat. Um, so we've been having some storms the past couple of days. And so that's snow on the San Gabriel Mountain, which I thought was really pretty. If the photo was wider, you would see that it was um, like morning sun hitting the snow. And I just thought it was really pretty. But since I wanted to see the snow, I made the photo bigger. And for my photos, I use my Canon selfie to print out the photos to get different sizes. Here's another photo of Bruce. And then for Saturday and Sunday, um, I decided to do this spread with Kit Kat and Bruce. Um, so that's my feet under the blanket. So Bruce, again, sleeps with us uh, in bed. And so I had Bruce on the bed with me and uh, Kit Kat came in later in the evening. And so this is the sequence of photos of Kit Kat being next to Bruce, smelling Bruce, and then eventually giving him a kiss on the cheek, which I thought was really cute. And so again, I decided to go ahead and print out the photos to show that sequence of events. This is from a magazine cutout, sticker flake, sticker flake. And then this is, um, I had a Mutt's daily calendar, either, I think it was the year before, so two years ago. And so I cut out the little cartoons that I like and so I decided to go ahead and um, tape them in. And then this is another magazine cutout, magazine cutout um, from, I think, Burpees. And then this is what I showed you last week. Lastly, this is my five-year diary. Um, I've been using this as my sketchbook doodle. Uh, I thought it would be fun to see my writing, my drawing uh, progress you know, for the next five years to see if it looks any better. Um, I am not up to date with this one. So I stopped on the 27th of January. This is a pencil sketch. I don't know if I want to watercolor it in. Sometimes I think the pencil sketch looks much better than when I watercolor it in. So that's why for the next four or five doodles, you won't see any color. Uh, because I like the pencil. So this is a black crappy fish. Um, I've been watching the big, big bear bald eagles. And so this is one of the fishes that they eat. 
So that's what it looks like. This is a pancake tortoise. I hope you can see that. You can see my writing more than the uh, turtle. But it's a flat. You know how the, the turtle, turtle or tortoise has that kind of hump of a shell? This one's flat, which I thought was pretty interesting. This is a land crab, which is big. Wow, I either press really hard or... Uh... So, can you see the crab? I may have to watercolor it in. This is supposed to be a hermit crab, but it's a hermit crab that lives, its home is a empty can. They don't have a shell of their own, so they have to uh, pick up empty shells or any empty container and, you know, with the, some pollution uh, found on beaches and in oceans. Um, so they find whatever they can use. And so this particular hermit crab had found a can. You can't tell because it's not colored in, but this is a, I think it's called a pied crow, pie crow, P-I-E-D. So it's black and then it has like a white, almost like a muscle shirt. <laughs> and then this is the blue crab that I'm pretty sure I showed you last week, which I did not color in. And here's another one where I sort of like my drawing and I'm worried once I watercolor it in, it's going to look awful. This is the clownfish. So that is it for my five year diary. So that's it for now. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you like to see after the pin videos of my Hobonichis, my happy planners. And I do have some traveler's notebook, which I haven't used yet. I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I will see you later. Bye!